Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Dre Gottams, and we are Nillin. We are back here in the Chamber of Wheels, down in the water deeps here, the water works, where there's many things working because of water. We see this wheel is busted, and we're trying to get this to work as well from the water. So we've been helping out our uh, friendly dwarf here, Indrith. Do, doing some tasks around here, trying to get gears and parts fixed and all that. Let's see uh, what he has for us next. If we drive the orcs from Casa Doom, will it be enough? I'm normally not so cautious of a dwarf, Nillen, but I fear something terrible has followed us to these flooded depths. The orcs of these deeps have been here longer than us. Perhaps they know what lurks in these stilled pools. Defeat them, we have no need for further interference at the Great Wheel. I've heard that the fungus has consumed the orcs, but no matter. They may still know something we do not. If they say not, it may be that the creature is gone from this place. Okay. So, uh, we saw those guys last time. Those really gross globs. Nagas. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and kill those guys. Just eight of them. That's a good way to start. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can... Yeah, this place is still overrun with toads. Toad spawns and these. Well, that guy walks kind of cool, though. He had a little swagger to his walk, huh? What's going on, yo? Don't mind us. We're just going to go work on our Glob Snaga Slayer deed. Okay. Oh, this is kind of a cool look, though. How this little cavern sort of entryway is. Hmm. I think it'd be very creepy in like a horror film sort of way. Alright, here we are. Back to the outside of the Great Wheel. Actually, hold on. Before we go ahead and do this, let's uh, check our gifts. Hobby gifts for the day. And we got some cash. Always good to send cash. Never complain about cash. And we got random relic packs. Not great at all. But let's go ahead and click them. I guess it's going to be good. Oh, we got it. Whoa, a tier 8. Holy smokes. Okay. I guess that's that's actually pretty good. And a tier 4. We got a tier 8 relic, which will probably take us a long time to try to level up to. So I'm actually okay with that. I feel like there were some orcs. Okay, yeah, here's one. I was going to say, where are they? Oh, okay, and there's another one. All right. We're in the right spot. Bring these guys closer. Come closer. And I guess we're supposed to be questioning them, trying to find out what they know. But these guys don't look like they would know much of anything. Yeah, they're they're pretty much all gone. Whatever orc element was in them is don't think it's much there anymore. Hey, wake up! I wonder if that'd be a pretty obnoxious alarm. Some guy going over your head and banging a loud shield. Uh, yo, whoa, whoa, take it easy. I wouldn't put that against my mom. I, I'm sure my my mom would do something like that. Or she would if I was still a kid living at home. But now, I'm all grown up. All grown up and we're all grown up and we're all grown up. But back in the day, I, uh... Moms would definitely have a fun time waking waking us up in annoying ways. Just a good thing this game wasn't out back then or else you'd probably take to banging on trash cans or something. Like, Lord have mercy. Is this guy knocked out? What's he doing? Uh, oh, there we go. Yo, what's your deal? Oh, uh, it looks like there's a little server lag. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a little bit of lag. There go. Catch up, catch up. Lag is to be expected when we're in such beautiful places. Let's not fall over. In such beautiful places like this. Zoom all the way in. Take that in. It, it always goes smooth. Nice. Okay. Alright. Uh. Huh. 
Is this? I feel like this is a different side that we didn't explore yet. I realized there was more to that area. I thought it was kind of a, sh a shorter little section here. But this place is bigger, so we'll keep running over here and see if there's something different or special that we can come across. Yo, chill. Chill with all that gargling noise. Your nasty snagas. Ooh, whoa! And they summon gross things to explode on you. Um, oh gosh, okay. Oh, we killed enough of you guys, leave us alone. Let's see if we can run them off. And let's see where this leads. Uh, I don't think it really, oh, it does kind of lead somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, we're back outside, kind of in the main front area. Huh, and these guys aren't leaving us alone. Well, we're gonna go back. That's good to know that there's another entryway. A way to get to this place. Nice. And down goes Frasier. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so, we did what we had to do. Let's go back and talk to our guy there. We still have some quests to turn in back at the settlement at the Rotting Cellar. But we're out here. Might as well keep doing some exploring. Yeah, we're out in this area, so. Ooh, the entrance to the vile mall. Ooh, the ooh, the stable. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to get that stable. Because it's, cause it's a stable, and it looks really far and out of the way of everything. So, let's go there just in case it hasn't been discovered yet. And it looks like there's something. I don't know what this is. That's something else. I don't think that's our main quest. Or the quest that we're on right now with the. with this chamber of water. So we'll have to go there as well. God, I, lo I love this. This just looks really cool. The colors are beautiful. The greens and blacks. And blues, I guess. Alright. I'm not sure how long this guy's quest chain is, but... Hopefully... We'll see... I. Let's see it until the end. I want to see what what's, what's what's going on with this guy. I do want to point out <coughs> that right now we have our experience uh, paused. There is a uh, for this weekend. They're doing the little recognition thing. Uh, see, I can take it off actually. What is this? We take it off and we get a hundred percent extra experience gain on all things, which is we we gain XP pretty quickly. So I kind of want to do it in the natural flow of our questing and not with many buffs. So I have it turned off for this uh, little period. I think it ends in a day or two. And then we'll, we'll turn our leveling back up. But this will help us get a couple quests in here and not get too over overpowered, which is nice. Even though I do want to get up to higher levels. So it's a balancing act for sure. It is said that Durin's bane dwells here, though we have not seen it. The orcs are afraid of tentacles dragging them down into the water? This bodes ill, my friend. I already sent my aside, or my aid aside. <laughs> I already sent my aid, Kaldi, to the Vile Mall. It's not far from here, but now I worry that I may have a grave error in judgment in coming here. And I doubt that Lord Bali there is still lives. lives. Black. So this might take us to... Th okay, cool. It's going to take us there. Perfect. I sent Kaldi off to the Val Mall to open the doors of the channel in preparation for the work to be done there. I've not heard back from him, but I thought that maybe he was just dawdling. Now I wonder. Please, make your way to the Val Mall west and a little north of here and see if Kaldi is still there. I would feel terrible if anything happened to him. If he needs help, give it to him. Okay, right, cool. Well... They decided to do exactly what we asked, and uh, we're, you know, they're, they're going to send us over to the Val Mall. I think we can go that Globsnaga route, um, and then maybe swim around, or just jump over the ledge and try not to die. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see. Let's uh, let's see if we can survive the jump. I just want to take a little gander, peer over the ledge. 
and uh, see if there's a, there's some sort of area where, where, where we can tuck and roll, drop, tuck and roll off of the jump. You know, that, that's how we would survive it in real life. So that's going to be our plan here as well. And I forgot people are going to be attacking us. Okay. Beautiful one. Okay. 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 Oh, there's another one. So let's see. Can we survive? Oh, we can go around here, though. Oh, I think this was like the main entrance to where we were at anyway. So, okay. What well, we're going to do? Jump here. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. We didn't even hurt our... Oh, I was say. Oh, and they're following us. <laughs> wow. You could tell that there is some lag where our leg broke about a second and a half after we, we fell. Uh, this is kind of tense. These globsnoggers don't mess around. Let's see if they want to take a dip. A dip in the pool. Really? Okay. That's it. Whoa! And this guy's come to... Okay, now you want to go in. Now that when I start a fight. Well, we activated this salamander, so let's go ahead and take him out. Whoa, and this guy wants to party, too. I'm always feeling a bit more aggressive here. Must be something in the water, huh? Must be something in the water. They're very aggressive. So I think we're going to go this way. with our uh, super fast run speed. Okay. Okay, we have discovered Harazgund. Ooh. Harazgund looks pretty cool. It's like the orange crystals kind of look like flames, basically. Flames coming out and lighting these guys. It's as if they're... Whoa. That's pretty awesome. Okay. The shadow of Mordor will That's not perfect. Long so. the holes of Khazadun. Okay, cool. No swift travel, unfortunately. But we can get back to the rotting cell if need be. Hitch a ride and then like, like go to the bathroom or something the and come Lord back. Of Moria have returned. It is good to know that Indrith is worried about me, though he need not be. Kaudi is no fool, my friend. Well, what are you Hear doing now? I have a tale of glory to tell. When I arrived at the Vile Mall and made my way to the doors, I stopped immediately as I began to push on them. I heard thrashing in the water and unintelligible screams from within. I knew then that there was something alive in there. I was not reared to be a fool, and so I came here to think. While walking along the water's edge, I noticed ooze filtering out of the stone near the water where the drains would push the runoff from within. I came running back here and have not gone near the water since. You seem like an adventurous sort. Perhaps you would care to take a sample of the water near the edge for me. You will not have to travel far. Anywhere to the northeast of here should suffice. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and give our permission. Let's go ahead and see if we can repair. Brilliant. So, he wants us to sample. Find a likely place from which to draw water. So north, so I, I guess we just go back to where we were. Let's go this way. And we'll see if we can the drowned deep. See if this is a good place to get a sample. Oh, yep, the water looks like a good place to test. Whoa, what is this? A rare signature. Okay. Oh, we got more. Nice. Took our health down to halfway, but we got a decent little kill. Ooh, we got a, a, a meat real flake for that rare mob. And we got a little trippy situation out here. Whoa. So let's uh, grab some of these guys. Oh, no more room? Oh, gosh. All right. Let's use that. We can't use these, can we? We can't use that. Some agility. I want to save that just in case. We have a lot. Oh, we got to do do some more crafting. We haven't done some crafting a little bit. I'm gonna go go ahead and eat some food. 
it's not going to really immediately uh, give us space, but whatever. Um, anything that we can toss right now. We have so many potions that we don't use. Like this one, 58. Okay, these are really small and low. Let's go ahead and trash those potions. A little more space that way. And buckets of purified water, we can dump that. Me Mithril Flake, we found Mithril. Ooh, Warden's Axe. We'll take that. Can't beat that with a baseball bat. Oh, we didn't collect the sample yet. Okay. Oh, wait. Looks like one little section. Okay, here we go. Doop, 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 boop, boop. Perfect. Actually, might as well get on our, uh, get on our goat. Get on our, our, our giddy up there. Get on that giddy up, brother. I want to do this. The Val Mall is a raid. I'm not sure if there's any people willing to do it, though. But we're going to try. We're going to try to get people to do it. Welcome to Kazadu. Wonderful. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Perhaps soon we shall stand face to face with Lord Bali. Now that we have the findings, we can send them on to someone who will know um, what we should do. Make your way to the Great Wheel and speak with Foreman Indrith. He will be able to tell you if there's anything wrong with the water and how we can best deal with the situation. I'm afraid something is terrible is going on here. Cool, so we are going back to that guy. And see, the quests around here are level 54 though, so I'm not sure what level the vile mall stuff would be. I think we already have the level 54, 56 um, tier raids for Moria, so. Vile mall is probably higher than that. Doom, doom. Ooh, there's someone to greet us at the door. This is a cool little section too. I like that one. I just like the overall color scheme in here. It's almost as if we're in the Matrix. Just waiting for Morpheus to come around the corner here. Hmm. Neo. Nilling. What do you choose? Dark uh, things dwell now in this is a sample of the water near the Vile Maw. He examines the fluid. Hmm, not good. There's something there, and I think that we sh need to be cautious about what we do. When you return to Kaldi, tell him that I said it is time for a final foray. Oh, you should head back to him now uh, at his encampment outside the Vile Maw. Okay. Final foray. Indeed, you say. Do All right. Th this time we don't have to go up on the roof and jump off because, as we saw, that didn't work quite too well. We'll just go out the front door. We'll just act like a normal person and go out the front door. How about that? Uh, yeah, it's this way. Okay. Oop, don't want to deal with you. I'm gonna take a look though. Where'd that Mithril go? Where are you, my friend? I, d I did take it, right? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, we have three pieces of Mithril. Yeah, it's, it's a questing item. Or, um, crafting, I should say. We have three pieces? I wanna make something with Mithril. With how greedy these dwarves are, I bet you I could sell these three pieces of mithril to one of them for like their whole, all their like cave dwellings and riches and holds in the mountain tops and all that stuff, and I'd be a rich, a rich hobbit. The Lords of Moria have returned. But that's not very hobbit-like. All we need is uh, food in our belly and the, the grass in our furry toes. This is grave indeed. It appears that we have found something after all. In fact, 
It seems as though we have found the very thing we had hoped we would not find since facing it outside Khazad Doom. We must perse persevere, though. Okay, the Watcher in the Water. Ooh, final foray in uneven flow. Uh, that sounds horrible. I've seen far too many cur commercials dealing with that, so let's go ahead with this Welcome final foray. Oh, uh, it it's a level 60. We have found the location of the Watcher in the Water, the beast we faced outside Moria, and a terrible foe indeed. The dread, the dread it causes shakes the foundations of the sh strongest willed warriors, and only through great power of light shall it be overcome completely, it appears. Beyond those doors, it is clear that there is a great foe of Durin's folk, and only those with the stoutest hearts and strongest resolve should enter. You will not face this foe with only a few allies. You must go in force. And you must be all prepared for the worst. Enter the Valmont, and if you survive, return to me. Cool, so now we have a raid quest. The Vile Maw. Let's see, we didn't set our thing for the Rotting Cellar, did we? And we're still at Orc Watch. I, I don't want to take this horse ride. Or goat ride. How, wait, how would that even work? I'm kind of now. I'm kind of curious to know how does one take a, a ride all the way over there. I'm really, I'm really tempted. Oh, it's probably like all the way up here. We're just gonna take it ourselves because we're gonna go really slow. Uh, I'm really tempted, but I don't want you guys to have to sit through ten full minutes of the slowest goat ride in the history of Middle Earth. No, leave me alone. I'm assuming that they would take this route. Cause yeah, they're they're not getting anywhere that way. So let's go this way and see what happens. So far it's looking good. This is probably the route that we would have taken. And can we go up here? No, that looks to be a dead end. Okay, yep. Then we make a left, most likely. All assumptions. The only th the, the benefit about if we were to have taken their goat is they wouldn't be attacking us. And we wouldn't be likely to be un unhorsed, ungoated. Oh gosh, or st stuck still so then they take us down. Oh my gosh. Gosh, stupid glow sticks. Yeah, there's a lot of people come out the party. A lot of people came out to play. Okay. Ooh, a lot of spiders up here. Eh, quiet you. Do these guys chase after us? Yeah, they do. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. What is that? Uh-oh. Yeah, this is spider area, huh? There's webs here. We have discovered the Lost Palace. The Lost Palace is overrun with spiders. And glass spiders. You know what? Now that I think about it... Um, hold on. Do we go that way? Or do we go... Uh, no, I think we try to go up, maybe? These spiders are exactly w what were described in a Game of Thrones. In, uh, pretty sure, yeah, the first book of uh, Song of Ice and Fire. When old, when old Nan is talking to Bran, he's in, he's in his bed and uh, talking about like giant, right? Giant like ice spiders or something? Or see-through pale spiders? I feel like that's exactly like wh how they were described. And I know this game came out over 10 years ago, but I think this is probably the wrong way. This looks like a dead end. Um, what's here? Oh, this is, okay, yeah, this is very spy. This is, nope, let's get out of here. Must run, must run. Um... A Song of Ice and Fire definitely came out before this game came out. Uh, oh gosh. So, we can decide 
who copied whom or who ga gathered inspiration from whom. You know, but either way, still pretty cool. Sight that it's in both things. It's in the game and it's in the books. Kind of curious if we'll see that in the upcoming season. Um, some of these ice spiders or something. That'd be kind of cool. Because they're only mentioned once and then we had not seen them since. So we have a couple spider deeds. Now that we, now we know though, if we do need to take care of a spider deed, we can go up there. They're all like gathered around there. See, so yeah, at this point, I don't know how our uh, goat would have taken us. I, like, I don't see what, what path it would have been. Because I don't think it's doing these little tight corners here. I guess, uh, I guess we swim the rest of the way. There it is, the rotting cellar from a different perspective. And I think, yeah, there should be some stairs there that we can take. That's perfect. Nope, 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 nope. No time to fight. Leave us alone. So we have this. I'm going to take this uh, quest off of our tracker at least. The watch mark. I don't know for how soon we're going to get it. So we're, we're going to still have that quest. So I'm just going to take it off of our thing there. Because that's going to. That could be there. Maybe we do it next episode, or maybe we don't do it for like 10 episodes. Uh, so. Take that off the tracker. So I think that's all that we had to do down in that far section. I mean, we have these quest turn-ins. They're going to give us some more stuff to do. But now we're, we're going to do the actual main quest, which was I supposed to do that over there? <laughs> I forgot what we're doing here. Find the bottom of the well, which we did. Oh, yeah. D oh, we, like, lost him, huh? That was our whole point. We <laughs> forgot where he was. I was certain that I knew where he was, and we end up not knowing where he was. So I guess we got to go all the way back there, huh? Or is it back there? Oh man. Well, we'll pick up some quests. The Orcs of Moria have much to account for. So you spread everywhere you, you saw leeches. Excellent. Hopefully soon it will be safe to explore once more. Yeah. Trying to clear out some of the waters, the foul waters, so we put out some ointments and whatnot. The House of Durin will live hmm. forever! These samples are exactly what I need to break the mysteries of the waterworks. With these, I can figure out the feeding hierarchy and determine the most effective creature for us to strike. Perhaps soon we shall stand face to face with Lord Barley! This is dwarf make armor, huh. Okay, oh, here's some, uh, some more killing stuff we could do. I studied the samples you brought me and have determined how we can best thin out everything down here with one simple stroke. The deep toads are the key to the survival of the lizards and the spiders. To strike the deep toads will be to strike their predators as well. How you ask? The lizards are unaffected by the venom of the spiders, and so the spiders cannot weaken them, making them undesirable prey for the spiders. Also, the lizards have enough cunning to avoid the webs of the spiders. The toads, on the other hand, are nearly mindless in contrast. Lizard and spider alike have little difficulty trapping and devouring the toads. If you remove the toads, the spiders and lizards will have no choice but to fall upon each other when you do this. It's actually a very well-crafted plan. I like it. Feels like something like people would actually kind of do in this situation. Like after like done some studying and mulling, mulling thing, things over. Like yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and change Orc Watch now to the Rotting Cellar. Change our milestone there. Uh, and where's another turn in? Do we have someone over here to turn in? No. Okay. Let's check our legendary weapons. See if we have. Okay, good. We have. 72 points to spend. We can do something with that. 
We can do surety of death damage over time, so better bleed is good. Again, oh, the life tap is good too. I, I kind of like that surety. Critical strike, critical damage. Ooh, that one sounds pretty good too. Critical strike, critical damage. Surety of death damage over time. More critical strike. And more gambit life tap. Okay. But what about our javelin? How's our javelin doing? Um, in the fray morale region. Javelin skills critical rating. I guess we've just been upping the crit rating, huh? I think 1500 is a good amount of crit rating increase. In combat power? No, that's pretty boring. Give it fist rating. Yeah. Spend a couple points there. I like it. I like it a lot. And. Oh, here's a guy. We have seen naught of in vain. Ooh, this guy Beware wants us to kill glass spiders. I'm down for that. The goblins keep smashing the dwarf lamps. Without them, we cannot safely find our way through the halls and move supplies between the camps we have established throughout Kazadun. We either have to find more materials to, to craft more lamps or find a replacement. The latter may be easier now that I think of it. I believe we can use bits of glass spider legs to replace the crystals. In order to do this, though, I will need a great many of those legs. If you would, go out and hunt down some of those glass spiders and bring me their legs. You, could, you can find a good many of the beasts to the west near the Lost Palace. Cool. So, we know where the Lost Palace is. We can do that one. I think we got all the quests here. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so toads are gonna be everywhere. We don't need to worry about that. Glass spiders are there, and then there's that. This is there, and that is, wait, wait, no, no. This is here, that is there, and, uh-oh. Hello, Quester. Got a hunter. Yeah, she's just firing some fire arrows. She's just going all out. Well, we're, we're going to go north a bit and try to get back to that lost palace so we can kill some spiders. Which will also help us with our spider deeding at the same time. And then from there, I assume we'll be at liberty just to go south and try to find... Whoa, hey, chill. Whoa, take it easy. What? You know what? I'm going to bring a desolation to you now. Doing all that nonsense. Give you that desolation of Smaug. So yeah, we're going to deal with these spiders and then we're going to go south for the main quest because we missed the guy that we were supposed to find by getting, you know, yep, you guessed it, distracted. Oh, here, here's a toad. Oh, yeah, we don't need you. Leave. Thanks. That was nice of him. Maybe that's how you deal with those salamanders. Just say, shoo, shoo. Beat it. Scram. Hey, just what we're looking for. Ooh, and also what we're looking for. Ooh, down he goes. Oh, wow, that one really does a flop. They have some pretty cool animations for some of these uh, knockdowns. Okay. So we got six more deep toads to do and nine. Nine more of the spiders. Let's see if we can get a couple at once though. Try to work it more efficiently.
Ooh, ooh, this one came out of nowhere. And... Down he goes, yep. Nicely done. And we're at four. Hopefully this isn't one of those things where sometimes they drop the, the quest item and sometimes they don't. That 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 that's gonna go. Oh, okay. These guys come out randomly and will ambush. Uh, okay. The other ones were too far. Let's see how many up here. Perfect. Hey, you. Where are you going? Okay. I think three's a good number. A little bit of lag there. Lag is not a warden's friend. Ooh. Put a strong boot to the mandibles is. Boot to the spider mandibles. And there's something sneaking around here. Is there something sneaking? Oh, just realized we don't have never surrender up. Let's pop that. <laughs> You come with me. The old palace. Glass spider queen. Oh, wow. We don't have a quest for the queen. I bet you they're going to make us come back. And say, there's a s there must be a queen if there's all those spiders. Go find her. Like, oh, man. I was just there. Uh, some serious skill lag, though. Serious skill lag, okay. Uh, what? Oh, oh, trying to play hide and go seek. Okay. Heading all the way back? Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, get on our goat before we get back in contact, in, uh, combat there. Alright, so we did that, now, yeah, now we go south. Nice. Going down the slip and slide. Okay. Oh, how do we get on that thing? Can we get on that thing? Ah. How do we get on that thing? There's got to be a way. What is that? Is there a way? Ah. No. I don't think there is. Come on. Ah. Let's try going around and see if there's something. Uh, okay, no. I think we're going to fall off. And lag is killer. Okay. I give up. I'll try that again later. But for now, we got to go south. Ooh, this is a gross salamander area. If we need to kill a bunch of salamanders, we can come here, but other than that, I think uh, this is a place well avoided. Oh, whoa, whoops. That didn't work out quite right. Is this, so is this a great wheel? Is that where we were doing our questing? Alright. Whoa. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wow, well, we get way over there. So we gotta go a little more east. No. Stand. Oh my gosh. Oh god, these guys are a pain. The glowworms suck. Whoa! And then the turtles smack. Okay, this place is starting to get a little hectic. Oh my god, and that shit's really ugly. Hey. 
Is this where we fell? This has a vibe of, of where the guy was chilling. No, I think this is where we came last time and he wasn't here. So he's probably like on the other side. I was like, oh wait, he's not here. And then we end up going to the great wheel. I think that's how everything. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, there. Oh, he was just right on the other side. Gotta be kidding me, ref. Come on, ref. Okay, we found him. Who's this? Melmar. So we found Melmar. We're gonna go ahead. <laughs> Woo! Go ahead. Go ahead. End the, the episode here. And uh, next time uh, we're gonna speak with Melmar and continue the main quest, which is the bottom of the well. Find the bottom of the well. I don't know what we do after that, but I'm sure he'll have something to tell us. Until then, as always, I have been Dre Adams, and you've been great. See you next time. Take care.